Frazier. As you see him down there. Indiana sporting the red singlets tonight. And of course for Rutgers, it's Dean Peterson. Rutgers in the black and white singlets tonight. Peterson suffered his first loss last week. Tyler Klinsky of Ryder dropped from number two down to number 13 in the country, Matt. But otherwise, he's still having a standout year so far, six and one. Looking to bounce back big time to open up the duel here this evening. Yeah, definitely. After that loss, I expect Peterson to come out hungry tonight. It's a big upset in that Ryder match. We'll see how he responds here. Going against the guy, Blaine Frazier. He's 3-0 and over his common opponents. Frazier 0-3. So Peterson definitely with the edge on paper. But as we saw last week, that doesn't always mean everything. Well, it doesn't matter if you're heavily favored, you're a big underdog, injury or not. As we certainly su suspected last week, Peterson was hampered by a bit of a injured knee, which he tweaked against Penn last weekend. Gonna try to jack up Fla Frazier here. Good wizard here by Frazier. Trying to get that left leg in as well, trying to hip over into Peterson. See if Peterson can limp arm out here. Yeah, Frazier with that nice whizzer, as you said, Nick. Peterson just needs to try to limp arm. He's going to shell the leg, hook there the leg go. on the other side as well. No three yet. Coming around, there's a takedown for Dean Peterson. So the early work pays off for the Rutgers sophomore. Yeah, really nice job. Sneaking that leg in there in front. That's the three. Now he's going to go for like a baby ride here. See what he can do. He's going to hip in and go out and get a fresh start. Navy. Nice start to the match, though, for Peterson. Navy Ride is one of his go-tos. And look at that takedown. A good, job, a good job by Peterson. Ended up shelving that leg, Matt, as he came across. Yeah, he just came out in front and snuck the leg in. That's good for three, even with Frazier with that wizard. Here he goes right to that Navy Ride, Nick. It's one of his bread and butter moves on top. You see him trying to hook that leg with his right leg, Peterson. Now trying to fold it underneath, looking for some tilts. But Frazier doing a good job building back to his base. Ramby roll attempt here. Peterson did a nice job following. He breaks Frazier right back down. Yeah, really nice pressure on Peterson. Keeping that pressure. Hips on. Now he's got an, trying to throw an arm bar in there. Really working under on that left arm of Frazier's. Go to a tight waist. Frazier really hasn't been able to do anything so far since getting taken down. Good top pressure by Peterson right now. Has Frazier seated to his butt. Yeah, you see Peterson on his toes there. That's what they always teach you. Stay on your toes, put as much pressure in as possible. He's doing just that. Peterson over a minute of riding time now. It's at 120 and climbing. So he's been well in control in this first period. And, Matt, we, we talked about it to start this broadcast, with, especially with Rutgers missing a couple guys and Mitch Moore and Andy Clark tonight at key spots in this lineup. You might need some bonus points out of your studs, i.e. Dean Peterson. Yeah, really nice pressure up Peterson had on Frazier that entire time of being on top. He's going to end the period on top. Always what you want to do after a takedown early. Build up that riding time to a minute 44. He's going to defer. So a controlling first period for Dean Peterson. Look at the Rutgers corner. That goes Scott Cadale and company. 7-1 this year the Scarlet Knights are. And Frazier chose neutral, Matt, probably the wise decision after getting yeah. ridden for over half that first period. Exactly. Takedown can tie the match for Frazier, so why waste time on bottom if he can't get up? Peterson's going to look to go back to work here, though. I expect another takedown attempt here in this second period. See so if he can get a 6 up, nothing lead heading into the third, go down. Quick escape, then you're looking at major decision territory. in the center of the mat right now. Peterson lunges in, has that single leg, and back to that wizard position again. Dog fight now. Peterson trying to elevate. See Frazier trying to grab hold of a knee. Let's see what Peterson does here. He circled out in front and threw a leg in last time. Really tight wizard. There's the limp arm out for the takedown, Nick. Takedown for Dean Peterson. Doubles up the lead, 6-0. Again, with that riding time approaching two minutes, Peterson is thinking bonus points. 
He'll chop that far arm now, looking to break Frazier back down to the mat. He does momentarily as Frazier's trying to build back up to some sort of base. But again, as you mentioned before, Matt, that top pressure from Peterson is really wearing on Blaine Frazier. Yeah, Frazier really just unable to do anything on the bottom. Peterson is all his pressure in. He's got the cross arm right now. Really nice tight waist, wrist control. He can just sit here for the rest of the period, see what he can work from here. Stall warning on Frazier, the first of the match, 20 seconds to go in this second period. Pearson trying to roll a wrist. Yeah, Frazier unable to even work up to a base right now. Yeah, this is just Pearson being the heaviest I've seen him, not in a literal sense, but as in his top pressure right yeah. now on in Matt wrestling. Yeah, he's going to end this period on top. Of Going on three minutes of ride time, 6 nothing. Coach Goodale wants him to get after it here. Here's the takedown. He's just going to limp arm out. Boom, right around the waist. Textbook takedown there from a wizard position. Peterson does choose neutral as well, so we've had no starts from referee's position in this match. Yeah, might as well. You get two takedowns in each period. You get a three-point takedown, major decisions in play, especially with that ride time heavily in his favor. Working that front head is Dean Peterson, Frazier. Trying to come out of it now. Peterson uh -oh. the jacket, looking for a throw. Peterson going down to the mat. That's a takedown for three. And it's a 9-0 lead for the Rucker sophomore. Yeah, man, he just jacked him up. And he's going to go to work back on his feet here. See if he can get a tech fall here, Nick. Yeah, Peterson electing to let him up. It's 9-1. to one. Peterson sprawls out of the way. Frazier really has not gotten any offense going. Another single leg attempt for Peterson. Shelving the leg, grabbing hold of the head. Looking for cradle. a cradle. Can he lock this one up? Peterson might be heading for a fall uh -oh, here. Uh-oh, here we go. He'll try to drive him over, take down there. Peterson coming through, looking for the fall now. Dean Peterson gets the fall with 106 remaining in the match. What a response for Dean Peterson and 6-0 Rutgers. Boom, calm collective for Dean Peterson there. He made